great ideas that we talked about. You know, so this week, yeah. as we're brainstorming, this is really basically we're brainstorming. Okay, the back to the what I'm trying to get yep. in my mind is, what is the focus? What yep. is your plan? What do you? Why? How do you plan? You're talking about here. You say a podcast. You're going to do a podcast like you've been doing, dealing with Heart of America. Yes. And okay, some of the issues you, we need to address. I'm going to give you the whole backstory, Fred, because I know you weren't privy to that, but. So that's returning home. I'm trying to build a revenue stream to keep the program going. Ashley is a podcast person, we'll just say. Okay. Good. She knows what she's doing. Good. I don't. So she's helping me. And the goal is, is that if enough people watch my show, mm-hmm. listen to my show, mm-hmm. they will pay us. Mm-hmm. So they will, they will, it's, it's, it's at this point right now, it's called Sandy Says. I never really, I never really owned that because to me, that just kind of sounds self-absorbed, yeah. you know, or, like, who am I that anybody's going to want to, well, I, it's kind of arrogant, you got to be kind of arrogant to think that I'm all that and, and all these people are going to log in just to hear what Sandy says. So I never, I never really owned it. We had to come up with something. something. So that was it. Yeah. And that's fine. At first, I mean, the whole preface of this was, I have a big following and and I know a lot of people mm-hmm. and um you know obviously because of my work at Bud's Turning Home people want to help me sure. mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. whatever we can do so I thought you know rather than get in your wallet wouldn't it be easier for me to just say Fred will you just listen to my show so I can get paid right sure. Sure. and I've even said on my early shows listen I don't not everybody likes me subscribe. I get that not everybody subscribe. cares what I have to say yeah. I get that yeah. but Log in. I don't care if you put me on mute. I don't care if you, you know, if you log in, the vets are turning home or uh, the guys are going to get food. Yes, so yeah, let's just do this. Yeah. Right. So that was the early, very beginning of this. Yeah. So then I thought, okay, so what is this podcast going to be about? Right. And I thought, well, at one point I was going to write a book. I started writing a book and then long story short, vets are turning home. I launched vets are turning home. There's no, I have no time. I will never, as long as I have that string home, I will never have time. But that book might generate a good income introducing it on this podcast. It it it, it would and probably still will because mm-hmm. Ashley said, Sandy, if you if you tell in your videos what you would have written in your book, yes. then a ghostwriter can extract all that information and put it to print, yeah. and then there's another whole revenue stream. Yeah. Okay, because I don't have time to sit down even with a ghostwriter to say, here, let's talk about this chapter. And what about- We've done five episodes. Mm-hmm. And, and and a couple of times throughout those different episodes, I said, obviously, it's to my camera. Right. Obviously, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this, guys. I'm just talking. Yeah. And, you know, if I get some inspiration about a certain subject, mm-hmm. that's what I'm going to share with you, you know. So... I was still feeling like, wait a minute, this is not powerful enough. People are busy. Do they really care about, you know, Sandy at 16? And, oh, by the way, I did, you know, I used to tour with Kiss and Bob Seger and all. You know, okay, do people enjoy hearing my stories? Yeah. yeah. Some of us, us, yeah. I mean, some people will find it interesting. Some of the stories that I have are very interesting, but I'm busy. Do I really have a, whatever, a half hour or an hour, you know, once a week to sit down and listen to what Sandy has to say? I'm not, whatever my message was, I didn't feel that it was powerful enough. And maybe it's not, you know, and Ashley could debate that with me. Sure. I got an email from uh, the marketing, what was his marketing director or whatever? The marketing director of WCSX, that's 94.7. Yeah. He said, Sandy, I, I've been... Uh, logging in and listening to your uh, Sandy Says podcast, and I just mm-hmm. want you to know that you are so inspirational and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, so obviously, you do some, some people, right. yeah, right. doing right. it right. We're getting their little bits. Yeah. On a personal note, I feel like, one, I'm, I'm busier than busy can be. Mm-hmm. I'm ridiculously, I'm too busy. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to do this, this has to resonate to me that I am making a difference, yes. not just a couple of bucks coming into vets are turning home. Yeah. I need to say things. And you see my, my Facebook post. Yeah. This is not going to be about how much I love Trump and how much I want Trump back and how bad, excuse me, Biden sucks or whatever. Right. 
He does, that's but that's but, recorded, you know. <laughs> Biden, Biden sucks. <laughs> but Biden. don't you just hate boldly? <laughs> so my point is, is that I need something. I need to. I need to know if I'm going to take my time, and this does take time. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to do this, I need it to be in a bigger, stronger more powerful message and i need to make a difference my time here is limited on this earth and if i'm going to spend time doing something it has to be you want to leave some footprints i do i i I, you know i got i'm leaving grandkids behind i want to make a difference that's when it started in the public school in the school it's rampant listen i remember they don't know oblivious to it well yeah They've got the sitcoms, they've got uh, everything, every, every show. What that describes is that's the uh, the result of prayer being taken out of schools. That's the result. My thing is, right now, on every news channel, on every social media network, mm-hmm. everybody's throwing out, uh, you know, the whole con- content is all about the problems, the problems, the problems. Yeah. Nobody's offering solutions. That's where I was coming from here. I don't, I, I am Why not, do do yes. So that's the thing that's important to me is that, you know, first we expose the problem. Mm-hmm. With that problem, then we need to have the solutions, right? And with that, um, it, it, so so the format of American Heart is, is, is addressing the issue. First addressing the issue. And I think that we can all agree on what, the issue, this upcoming episode, the issue will be this, this week. This is what we're going to talk. And I'm going to say, and this, this resonates, this is close to home. This, this, you know, these are people that I know very well. And, you know, this is a problem. And let's, this generation is at risk. Okay. And if we do not parents and, you know, and if you're a parent and you have small children, please listen to what we're talking about here. Cause it's happening to your kids. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have small children, you probably have grandchildren. If you don't have grandchildren, you have nieces and nephews. There, there's a, a movement happening right now, and you you gave me the information on that. And I looked into it and listened to some of the, the, the rhetoric going on. And they, it's red, white, and blueprint. You probably heard of it. I have make enough. People are fed up with what's going on, and they're doing something about it on a grass uh, roots uh, by uh, county level. They're getting rid of these creeps that are in office that are voted into office and cheated to get in there whatever it's but the school boards too it, you know, exactly it's, it is it's, 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 it's the yeah. unions it's yeah. the yeah. Unions. Yes. Unions absolutely are, there's a lot of people that are thinking just like you and and this thing will go show me what to do yes. stop telling me how broken it is unless it is. and i've always said that and i said this Direct. as a as an employer okay my employees come to me and, you know, so, so I, I own my own business and I put together my, my, um, operation, right. Right? right? I created the documents. I have the inventory. I train you on the process, right? Mm-hmm. Now you're my employee. You come to me and you go, you know, that I have a problem. What's the problem? Well, I don't like okay. these documents. Okay. What's next? Well, what solutions do you have? Well, I, I don't know. I just don't think the documents are very efficient. Don't bring me your problem unless you give me the solution. Because that is, that is your problem. I created this document. I'm very comfortable in how this document flows. This was the best that I had to bring to the table. I I implemented the best that I have. So if it doesn't work for you, then you need to give me the solution of what might work for you. Better. Exactly. But you don't get to dump your problems. Because on my lap, right now I got to figure out your problem. It's not my problem. It's your problem, yeah, right? Exactly. So I am adamant about that, and that's the thing that is frustrating me to no end right now. So, for example, they come, all these videos that I watch, and they'll say, "Contact, you know, contact your local politicians." Right. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Right. Okay, right. who? You know, do, do I do I contact the senator? Or do I contact the congressman? Is is uh, you know a, a, what representative? Do I do I contact them all? Do I go to the governor? Do, and, and what do, exactly do I say? We need names and emails. I want to create letters, a boilerplate template letter, yeah. and and kid glove, all the viewers. 
Okay, if you resonate with what we're saying here at all, yeah, you know where my heart is. And as I explained, that's in a good place. Yeah. Um, as I explained to Ashley, I am not well versed in scripture, right? So when I when I speak of something passionately, I already know that it's it's good. It's 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 with good intent. It's um, you know, nothing, you know, whatever. But nobody. But I need you guys to back me up with the scripture part, and the church says, and the Bible says, and you know, because I don't know. I can say, you know, hey, listen, God would. That's not happy with us right now. <laughs> more than a Christian, it's more than Christians. It's it's anyone who's who believes in God, whether it's Muslims or whatever. If you believe in God, then you should know the difference between good and evil. Am I correct? No, no. Satan believes in God. That scares him. He's well, the devil okay. How do I how do I say quoted, this? It's quoted like that in the scriptures. It says. You you say you believe in God? Well, the devil believes in God too. Jesus said it like this. He said, there was a man who owned a field and he planted good seed in the field. While he slept, an enemy came and planted bad seed in the field. And the tares grew up among the wheat. Tares are weeds, right? Yeah. And he said... When he woke up, he was surprised to see all this in his field. And he said, should I go in the field and pluck them out? He said, no, let them grow together until the end of the age. He said, and then God will send an angel. He says, because if you pluck them out now, you will pull up some of the good wheat. He says, but but God will send, and, and then he uh, interpreted that. He said, the wheat are the children of God, the church. The tares are the people that the enemy the has planted in the And so, so we're seeing a mixture of God's people and tares together because mm -hmm. God said, don't, don't try to pull them out yourself yes. because you might damage some good, good people. At the end of the age, and I'll finish this, yeah. at the end of the age, I will send my angel, and he will take the tares out of the out of the kingdom, out of the wheat, yes. and the, the, then the Lead church will shine it, yes. forth as the brightness of the sun. So God, what I'm saying is that God is aware of what's going on in the church. He knows that there are people who say they are Jews and they are not. They say they are Christians and they are not. They're hypocrites. So. We, I have to, I take God's side on this. I say, okay, God, the church is good. The enemy has done this, right? And so I'm not gonna, the enemy wants, wants people that are looking at this to say, the church, this is his whole design. This is why there's tares among the wheat. So that people will look at the church and say, something's wrong with the church. The right. church is the problem. Yes. That's what the enemy. I totally, I totally so agree with that. I totally at. get that. Yes. Yes. Like if we are growing up without God in our lives. We can wrap our head around that. We can, we can approach it and communicate it. Absolutely. In a better way to where yes. people are not mad at the church. Right. Because it's not good. Yeah, but and and I, and I think I actually misspoke because I'm not trying to say the church. I'm saying the, the people. The people that, the good God-fearing people that want to do good, that want to good, live good, clean lives. They walked him out with half his pride and a check for two weeks' pay. Now he don't work there anymore Drove on down to the county seat To file an unemployment claim Big old line stretched out the door Asked his dad if he'd seen it this bad He said no, but his daddy had Compared to them, son, you and I've been blessed
ticks Cause it's the sucker's bet when the game is fixed Guys in suits may call the rules He just wants to be left alone Keep his wife and kids in their little home Just give him half a chance and that's what he'll do Jump back.